Now look, Marshall. If you love someone, you know what it's like to be in love. All you want is their company. And probably all alone in some country place. Or it could be by the seaside, it could be on a holiday. It could just be in your own hometown, but you walk in the park. You walk with them. Yeah, you can go to things, but it's neither here nor there. You hold everything else lightly compared to loving them. Now, first commandment. Love the Lord your God. Uh, sorry, first and principle. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind and strength. You don't do that. You love him, yes, but you're not using all your heart, soul, mind and strength. You spend your day chasing after people that you think are good and are in need and need your blessing and will blossom if you give them your company and you seek groups and meetings and socialization and um, interaction with people. And then, in the silence of the morning, anything between two, even one in the morning, and eight or nine, you crash into me. Hmm. And that's the time you find the best. That's the time you find the most meaningful and after which you feel the most renewed, refreshed, ready to dissipate all your powers and enemy energies again. You're not doing. You're not following your basic principle, which is to devote everything to your relationship with the one you truly value and trust the most. All your hope, all your dreams are tied up in me, your Heavenly Father. Well, what do you normally do when all your hopes and dreams are tied up in someone? You go after them. You sacrifice everything to be with them. You change your whole future. You commit yourself to them. You hold that they are enough in themselves for your completeness and joy and peace and prosperity. Nothing wrong with that except it's the wrong object of your love. And you know it. You hold and maintain you should love God with all your heart, soul, mind and strength if you want fulfillment. Good. Do that then. Simply do that. If you find I'm not with you when you do that, well, you will rethink. If you find I am unfaithful, you will rethink, but you must find out. And perhaps I'm not unfaithful. Perhaps I will always be with you. Perhaps I love you as myself. Perhaps I'm in love with you, my child. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Dad.